we're gonna be talking about how to dye your own feathers. The one product I'm gonna tell all of you to steer away from is food dye. And I'm talking about like the food coloring stuff that you get at the grocery store. That stuff just doesn't work. Now the other two products that I used is of course the ever so popular Kool-Aid dye and of course RIT dye. Now RIT is the only real actual professional dye that I used and I will say that it's wonderful. So I'm gonna start off by talking about the RIT dye and then we'll touch base about the uh, Kool-Aid stuff in a bit. So RIT dye is actually the most expensive. It's about $5 for a little container that honestly it will do a ton of feathers and you could kind of save it in like a vat if you want to try to reuse some of it um, and I've done that and, and it does work just to let you know. Um, but uh, the, more importantly it gives a really deep rich color. So uh, black is a really Really hard color to dye or, or rather a hard dye to color your feathers with and the reason is is because black is not really a natural color it's a combination of a whole bunch of colors put together to kind of get to your black uh, deep rich black hue that I have here when it came to the instructions I followed them but a little bit so what I mean by that is well to get this really deep rich color I had to kind of finagle a bit and after the second attempt it was perfect. So what I did was I filled up a vat that was able to you know handle all of these uh, beautiful plumes that I have in front of you and uh, then I filled it up with one and a half liters of water and I'm talking about pretty darn boiling hot water here. Now the reason is is because Ritz says that for best results you need to have 60 degrees Celsius water. So I did that. Then after that I filled up a mason jar and I put in the powder. Mind you, I only used half of the powdered package. Gave it a shake, put it inside my vat with an addition of one full tablespoon of salt, and I used a quarter cup of white vinegar, just the regular stuff from the grocery store, nothing fancy here. Gave that a bit of a mix, and then I added my plumes. Now when I did that, I kind of moved them around for the first little while. It says to kind of move around the uh, the feathers or, or whatever product that you're trying to dye, and it says to move it around periodically for about an hour. Now I didn't do that. I just kind of moved it around here and there, would go uh, you know about my business, come back every like 10, 15 minutes, and give it another stir. Now the thing is, is that I waited one hour, and it was okay. Um, we had some, you know, some black, marabou or rather black uh, feathers here with the ostrich but it wasn't deep and rich and beautiful black so I left it alone for an additional four hours so that's a total of five hours after that what I did was I took them out I rinsed them out until you know nothing was running black anymore which took a little bit of time but uh, nothing like the kool-aid stuff but um, then after it stopped running I patted it all dry and the thing is is that you have to separate all the the hurls uh, away from the stem and then you know let it dry and it comes out nice and wispy again just like this now it was a little concerned because I was when I heard about 60 degrees Celsius water I thought I was gonna burn this thing to heck, but you know what, these are quite resilient. Um, I don't know about other feathers, but I will say that I've tried uh, uh, marabou, I've tried um, uh, partridge feathers, I think I've tried something else. Uh, oh, and just like regular like saddle hackle and everything, and I've never had a problem with 60 degree uh, Celsius. Uh, I see, I, I feel like that's, they do that for a reason. It, it really helps, uh, you know, um, penetrate inside this thing as, as best as it can. Obviously you can tell that RIT is a huge, uh, you know, it, it wins in my book. Um, I honestly just don't see the point of trying anything else when something works, stick with it. But I had to try Kool-Aid because, well, a bunch of fly tires use it and they've always talked highly about it, so why not? I gave it a shot. So what I did was I picked up a couple of those packets. They're like a dollar a piece or whatever. And, uh, and I mixed it up the way I mixed up the RIT dye. But instead of putting in the salt, I, you know, I didn't put in salt, but I put in a quarter cup of, um, of the vinegar. So when I did the mixing, I actually put uh, 500 mils of water 
with a quarter cup of vinegar. Now the reason for it is because I heard that you need to put a substantial amount of vinegar for the acidity to really work and break down inside the protein. So that's what I did. And the results for the blue, which is the mixed berry, uh, was in my opinion, phenomenal. Um, it really did great, especially for a dollar. Um, the, the, these, these plumes just are just gorgeous and uh, they have that kind of kingfisher blue to them. So if you're looking for like a really deep, rich, dark blue for steelhead, now I will still use this for steelhead, but if you're looking for that like really dark blue that, that some uh, people associate with steelhead fishing, you're probably not gonna get that with this. Maybe with like two or three extra packages, but everything that I did with Kool-Aid was just one package because, well, I wanted to see what one package will do. So one package is what you get here. And I did two plumes here and it, it did quite well. Now it did run quite a bit, which kind of sucked at the beginning, but because I thought, you know, the, the color that I had at the beginning was really good, but it bled out quite, is quite substantially. And what I'm left with is a really beautiful, nice, um, you know, I'm going to say on the light side of Kingfisher blue, but that's cool. Then was the pink lemonade color. Now this one I have mixed results with. It's not bad. Uh, and I, I followed the same directions as I did with the Kingfisher blue. It's not bad. Um, but I feel like it's more of a shrimp pink than it is that like a, a nice hot pink that I thought it was going to end up being. Um, so for me, I wish that I kind of had a few more packages. I feel like if I put three packets in this guy here, I would have got the color I'm after. But I will say that it still is pleasing. It's just didn't get me the color that I was after. So I think a couple more packets would have definitely solidified that. Now, when it comes to the color fastness of this stuff here, um, people say online that it works really well. So I'm gonna trust the, the fly tying community there. As far as the writ, 100%. It's, it's just, it, it's amazing. Um, it, it just does a great job. And when it comes to finding black, I mean, there's nothing else that does it. It's just, this stuff is really, really, really good for that. Now, am I going to use Kool-Aid again? Yeah, I am, because I think it's super fun to be able to do it. Um, I won't drink the water after that, but uh, but I will say that it's fun to just grab a dollar or two dollars worth of packets and kind of have some fun and see what you can come up with. Um, only time will tell what, uh, what the durability of the color fastness of this is gonna be. But like I said, I'm gonna trust what the community said. If they said it works really well, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna listen to them. I think that's enough, I've blabbered enough. Uh, this is really a lot of fun. You should give it a shot. Uh, it worked for me, so hopefully it'll work for you. And that's all I got for you. Thanks so much and keep her tight.